Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a graph using Google and you can use this with your Google Drive accounts and it should be a pretty quick video and you can use this if you have data already from an experiment. So you would go to new here and then you can click new sheet from Google Drive. Um, so the hypothetical data that I'm going to use it, be using today is from this experiment with an aquatic plant called Elodia. And in this experiment, we're going to get data counting the number of bubbles we see when this plant is submerged. And those bubbles are oxygen bubbles. So the rate at which this plant is producing oxygen can correlate to the rate um, of photosynthesis that it's doing. So if we put this in different conditions, say a light condition and a dark condition or artificial light versus sunlight, we can uh, potentially test the amount of photosynthesis this plant will do in those different conditions. So that's what the data I have. So here I have my data, I have the minutes I counted all the way up to 40 minutes, and then the number of bubbles from the submerged gelodia plant here, and those are the bubbles uh, total that we have counted, or that we are counting during that time period. So what you're going to do is select the entire data, entire data, so I would highlight this entire data set, and then select chart, and it's going to open the chart editor dialog box, and then I'm going to click on the tab labeled charts, and click line, and then I can see different line charts or line graphs, because we're looking at change over time in this instance. And I would choose the first one, that's the most common, and go from there. And don't worry, I'll show this to you guys in a moment, um, going through each of the steps. You can also change the titles as well. So here we go. Um, if I want to customize it, I can change the axis and then make sure I have my axis titles as well as my big title up here, which is really important. And this is under the customization tab. Okay, so let's go through and do this on our own. So if I get out of here, I'm going to go to new. Google Sheets, blank spreadsheet. There we go, and we can title this spreadsheet. If we already have our data in here, that's great. And it doesn't really matter what form um, or what cells you put it in as long as you highlight it. So this is gonna be test chart one. And I can just select anywhere. I'm gonna insert my data. Great, so I have my minutes and then the number of bubbles here. So now I'm gonna select all of this. I'm gonna to go to insert chart. And this chart editor should come up. Great. I don't want a column chart. I want a line chart. Excellent. So I can move this around if I want. But this is fine for right now. And this is great. So I already have my uh, axis titles here, actually. And I can um, edit these if I want. I can just say number of bubbles. I can make it italicized if I want. Minutes down here. So this looks great. Now I would want to fix this giant title. So I can click on this here or I can edit over here in this box. So I'm just going to say um, number of bubbles um, over 40 minutes of submerged elodium. And let's make sure I spell that right. And I can highlight, oops, go back and italicize that part. So I can't just italicize one word in here, but if I want to make sure that this Elodia scientific name is correct, I can italicize the entire thing. Um, and then down here, if, um, look, I have 40 minutes, 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 and this graph looks good to go. Now, if I want to save this graph, um, what I can do is save this as an image and download it, or I can take a screenshot and then upload it somewhere else, or I can just leave it in here um, over to the side and I have my chart here and my data here. All right, thanks guys.